Good morning, guys. Good early morning. It is like 14 degrees here in Southeast Michigan. It is cold, and the cat is home, recovering from being fixed. They found the Humane Society down to believe found she had a, a hernia in her stomach, so they fixed that. And let's see. Uh, we have a lot that to talk about. All right. It is 6.30 morning. I've only been up an hour. And I've thought long and hard since I saw about what to cover. I keep coming back to the book of Revelations. It talks about Babylon, this once great nation. It talks about um, wars and rumors of wars. Before I get started about this way of situation... Let's kind of re let's um, review December, particularly um, yes, the gold exploration contracts that went to a company in Russia. So they're gonna have Russia in Venezuela legally there and looking for gold. Now Maduro is doing the right thing. He is ordering uh, the embassy, the American embassy to Venezuela to close. They have till Sunday to get their shit and get out. Basically, it's the only time of it. They've already lost diplomatic immunity, which means if they stay past Sunday, they will be there illegally. It's his nation. He is the elected president that the people acknowledge. The army has sworn allegiance to him. Not this other guy that's completely irrelevant, but to Maduro. Now, not only is Russia getting gold, contracts for a gold exploration. <sighs> I'm still trying to wake up here. But also they have pledged to buy five billion dollars of oil and gas from Venezuela. This cat has no idea she just had surgery yesterday. I mean it's like she doesn't even realize it. Anyway, now all of a sudden Washington DC wants to take an active role. You know what? I gotta go help her right quick or she's gonna drive me crazy. Alright. As you see the cat is in the window where she wanted to be. So now let's continue. Russia got guaranteed five billion dollars contracts for gas and oil from Ven with Venezuela. Alright, now Pompeo Trump Pompeo Bolt Bolton are saying military intervention is on the table in the country of Venezuela. Up until then, up to December, they didn't give to, they didn't care. It didn't bother them. But the fact that a Russian company got these contracts and not them is really what made them mad. That was like a slap in the face. Maybe, I don't know, maybe a kick to the groin area um, to them because as far as I'm concerned Maduro should only deal with DC that's it we're all on this side of the equator of the same side of the Atlantic Ocean they should only deal with us no this is a legitimate government of Maduro the people voted for him. Now, here's where the book of Revelation comes in. There's rumors of war. And there's still a war going on over in Syria. We have Israel striking Iranian facilities. And we have Bashar, President, legitimate President al-Assad. 
making it clear if Israel strikes one more time, that's it. It's going to be hell fire raining down on them. Okay. Where is this going to go? See, I am absolutely convinced that America is Babylon. Because when you read Revelations, it talks about multiple seaports. We have three. We have the Pacific, the Caribbean, and the Atlantic. There's three seaports. The Vatican has zero seaports. Now, I'm not saying what they're doing over there is all moral and happy and all that stuff. No. They are as depraved as Anton LaVey was. Okay. We all know who he was. The Pope, his bishops, all of them, they are just as bad as he was. And I'm Roman Catholic, so I can say that, okay? Here's the thing. They don't have access to seaports. They might be the mother of Babylon, but this country is Babylon. We are doing so many things that when you read... Um, you basically can pick any chapter in here, and we fit it. We fit everything when it talks about Babylon. We fit. No other country fits, but we do. I know I'm probably going to get some pushback on that, but I'm telling you. When you talk, read them talk about um, the seaports, uh, starting wars, that's been here. That hasn't been the Vatican. Now, they are pushing for a one religion, a singular religion, to bring it all under the Roman Catholic house. And my word to you, Orthodox Jewish communities, Muslim communities, you had better wake up now. Because if you don't, you're going to wake up one day and you are going to be Roman Catholic. Whether you like it or not. You will be under the great whore of Babylon. The mother of the whore of Babylon. And that's Rome. Um, all of this fits. Everything fits. Now, I'm not going to say that there's going to be a... Well, how they put that. Like, where people are saved from the wrath of God. That's not going to happen. Okay, I don't see that happen. Because there's just not enough people... They have stood up and screamed and yelled about what was going on. There hasn't been enough people moving to put a stop to this. So no, I don't see any of that happening. Um, I look forward to reading your comments. Like, share, subscribe. Let's try and stop this crazy train. God be with you.